Okay, uh, Danny Ives here with bjjhalfguard.com forward slash bjjhalfguard. So today we're gonna talk a little bit about the shallow half guard. There's three types of half guard that you're going to use in jujitsu and MMA for that matter, or I guess self-defense. Shallow half guard, deep half guard, and then the lifting style half guard. Today we're gonna to focus on shallow half guard, which I think is like, it's one of the easiest ones to learn. So I like to start people off with this. You can get a lot of good sweeps from here. You can sweep a lot of different types of people from here. I do this particular sweep a little bit differently than most, so it's kind of run along with me a little bit. I call this a belt feed finish, okay? So if I get to my half guard, and usually if the guy opens my guard or I slide myself in, I basically want to get to the position where I make the triangle around his leg, okay? Just like so. This is all I'm doing with my feet here, locking around the leg. The leg that's on the inside, in between his legs, is the one that goes across. Not usually the outside leg. I say usually because some people do do that but I don't like that as much. I want to be here, okay, like so. From here, I never want to let him get the underhook on me. Never, okay? So if he's trying to get the underhook, I need to be fighting for the inside position, okay, or what we call pummeling for the inside position. I never want him to get under my arm because if he does that, he's gonna get me flat. I'm just, I'm not gonna be able to really do anything, okay? It's gonna be very difficult. I want to be under the arm and I'm gonna to try to get to the belt here. My right arm is gonna go inside the leg closest to my head and I'm gonna kind of pull Eddie up a little bit with me just to take a little bit of the weight off me, which is really important if you have someone that's like a little bit heavier than you. From here, I wanna feed either his belt or the bottom part of his gi in between his legs and grab with my outside arm here. Grip, just like so, with the outside arm. Again, I'm feeding, I can do the belt or the bottom part of the gi, I pull it down a little bit, come around and I feed very, very tight. I want this grip really strong right here, okay? Everything should be snug, there shouldn't be any space, he shouldn't be able to pummel inside. From here, I'm just gonna pretty much let him pass the guard because it doesn't matter if I let his leg go, as soon as he comes through, I'm building up, building up here to my knees right away. But notice I did not let this go. I kept the grip the whole time, okay? There's a bunch of different finishes from here. I mean, you can do a cut back, you slide your knee in and take them backwards. You can drive into them, you can stand up with them. There's a lot of different things that you can do. Me personally, I'm going to give you my take on this, this uh, particular technique, okay? If I go on the other side here, I get to my position, I start to pull him up a little bit, I start to feed again the belt, bottom part of the gear here. What I like to do is as I come up, most of the time the guy whizzers and he gets real, real heavy. So as I'm coming up here and he gets heavy on me, I actually don't like to keep my head inside. See how my head's like on the inside of his leg here? I don't like that. I actually like to rotate my head to the outside here, okay? because this position is a lot harder for him to sprawl on me, okay? All I need to do is maintain the belt, go to sprawl me a little bit, maintain that belt and slide my knee in, grab the far leg, run and run. Finish my sweep just like I would like a high crotch takedown if you guys have ever wrestled before. But for me, this is like the only way I finish this sweep because from, uh, my head gets stuck, stuck underneath, the, underneath the guy a lot of times. And when I come up, when I roll my head to the outside, that prevents that. Everyone always says, they're always like, oh, you're going to get guillotined when you do this. If you sat there and you didn't know what you were doing, maybe. But if you get your head to the outside and you cut off and grab the far leg and run them down, you should end up in side control long before they have a chance to guillotine you, okay? And I know because Eddie's a, Eddie's a big guillotine guy, okay? So I want to be here. Again, I scoop myself in. I get my position. I start to feed here. And again, it doesn't matter if he's knee cutting or anything like that because I'm immediately building up. He starts sprawling on me. All that stuff, I'm going to pop my head to the outside. Now... As he goes for his guillotine, I cut across here. When he sits guard, boom, jump the legs, okay? Never, never let them get their legs locked around your waist. If you can't do that, he's gonna have a very hard time finishing that guillotine, okay? But one more time here. The setup is, there's nothing real fancy here. I slide in, I catch the leg, and remember, I've gotta have this underhook. If I don't have this, it's gonna be really tough. I pull him into me a little bit, and I wanna feed, boom, his gi here. And I wanna make sure this grip is very, very strong. No space. As I build up and he starts coming here, I'm gonna pop my head to the outside. If he goes for the guillotine, cross the leg, up and over, side control, grab the wrist, and relieve as much pressure as you can. But I hope that helps you. Um, that's just, again, the belt feed finish, but popping your head to the outside. Really, really good technique. Give that a try. As always, if you have any feedback, drop me an email. You can get that off my site, bjjhalfguard.com forward slash BJJ half guard.